So we're going to give a quick demonstration of the JRide app. As soon as we open the app, uh, it'll show that it's in the demo mode. Um, we have a previously equipped vehicle, a XP900, um, but if we'd like to add a new vehicle, say we buy an XP1000 with uh, JRides equipped, we can come in here, it'll find any Bluetooth equipped shocks in the area, and uh, as long as the vehicle's on, we can see. So if it's a double adjustable set, we can come in here, rename it uh, XP1000, so we can differentiate between our two vehicles. And then here in the vehicle selection screen, um, you're able to uh, delete a vehicle if you no longer own it, or you can uh, reorder them if you have a favorite that you're always in uh, to make it things a little easier on you. So if we select the XP1000, so once we select the vehicle, it'll take us directly into the preset options. Um, these are all preloaded uh, suggestions from JRI um, for different uh, on-road and also off-road terrains. Um, with a brief description underneath to give you a rough idea of you know what what they're designed for and what the intention is and as soon as you click these preset settings uh, it'll take you to the actual adjustment screen as you see here we can adjust compression and rebound independently or we can link the two together and adjust them at the same time using either the slider or the little buttons there on the side um, in this setting you can see that we're adjusting just the front axle we can also adjust the rear axle and uh, if you'd like to fine tune it even more, click the more button and we can come here to uh, individual corner settings and make these adjustments as we see fit um, until we get to a setting that we like uh, on, this, on this current terrain. As soon as you get something you want to save, you can click the star button up here and this will save the preset that you currently have uh, as a custom setting. This name will show up in our preset list uh, as we saw before. And you can put a little description uh, if it's a certain location that you want to go to. Uh, you can save that and that will come up in the description as soon as we go back to the presets. Here's your custom one and then you can select that and it will automatically load those settings back or you can switch to other previously loaded uh, settings.